Senators grilled the recruiter and employment agency of Julie Bira Nara, who was murdered last month in Kuwait. Lawmakers called out the supposed lapses in monitoring the situation of the migrant worker. The details from Mea and Los Baños. That's why you're not monitoring. That's why your monitoring is ineffective. Inutil yung monitoring nyo. Your monitoring system works. You're saying every day you check, you monitor. A day before she died, ganito yung, ganito yung situation. If you know, if you don't have the heart for the OFWs, Ganito lagi, mangyayari, araw-araw, ganito mangyayari. Taon-taon, ganito nangyayari. Sawan-sawa na kami maghiring dito. Senators slashed out at the local recruiter of Julie B. Ranara, the slain OFW in Kuwait, for supposedly being remiss in checking on her. However, Catalyst International Manpower Services insists that they have enough monitoring mechanism, but Ranara did not report the abuses she was experiencing. Wala naman po siyang traces na sinaktan siya or uh, merong uh, hostile working environment. And as a matter of fact, tinicheck din po namin yung mga TikTok, yung mga Facebook. During the hearing, Attorney Castellon also said that Ranara was allegedly pregnant and was in a romantic relationship with the son of her employer, the suspect in her killing. What proof do you have? It, it was Para sabihin na there's a relationship. Kasi pangit ito, nagsasalita ka patay ng tao. She can no longer defend herself. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. So, give me proof. But based on the autopsy report from Kuwait, Owa said Ranara was not pregnant. Senators moved to delete the said claims of Castellon and the lawyer apologized. The Department of Migrant Workers already canceled the license of Catalyst International Manpower while senators ordered the DMW not to grant the agency any license from here on. The DMW was also not spared from the hearing after Senator Rafi Tulfo expressed his dismay towards Secretary Toots Ople for not implementing a total deployment ban to Kuwait. The DMW said that before Secretary Ople flew to Japan, she ordered the implementation of a targeted deployment ban for first-time domestic helpers in Kuwait. Targeted ban po. So by that, we mean, yun pong ban na i-impose ay para po sa mga household workers uh, bound for Kuwait na mga new hires po. Ang bulto po ng ating mga problema na nagkakaroon po ng pag-meltrato ay nandun po sa mga new hires na umaalis, sir. Uh, kaya ito po ang sabi ni Secretary Toots na in the immediate, ito ay ating iban muna. OWA is also pushing for significant reforms that will be tackled in the upcoming bilateral talks with Kuwait while contracts of first-time OFWs are deferred. Reporting for News 5, Mea and Los Baños, we are One News.